comes another attack from the Scot and he's got him again. That's the During this extraordinary chapter in boxing's history, Britain and in particular Scotland was producing world beaters of their own. He's not going to make it. He hasn't made it. He's out. He hasn't beaten the count and Roland Dagan has counted him out. And Buchanan from Scotland is the winner. The first was Ken Buchanan, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, and some would say the best boxer to come from Britain's shores since the Second World War. Storming tour of the West Coast, a sort of fight anybody thing, and a throwback to the old Van Knuckle days. Now, it looks as though he's hurt there, Buchanan, but he isn't, you know. This is just boxing. This is really Nell Tarp, Ernie Roderick, and probably Jim Driscoll all rolled in one the way he's giving this performance here. <laughs> He won the title in 1970 in Panama, becoming the first since Ted Kidd Lewis in 1915 to win a world title the other side of the Atlantic. Due to confusion at the Boxing Board of Control and the various governing bodies in the sport, Buchanan's victory wasn't really acknowledged back home. Recognition and the money that comes with it seemed mostly to elude Buchanan. So now we'll see whether Hernandez has got very much left. He's got three to go, including this one. But Cannon really needed to put those together because he was letting the initiative slip away. And Hernandez looks to me to be ready to go. And he's stopping it. It's all over. It's all over in the eighth round after 28 seconds of the eighth. The world lightweight champion, Ken Buchanan of Edinburgh, has stopped his man, and that's a great debut in this country as the world champion. Uh, you mean you were looking for a knockout? He lost the yeah. title in 1972 to Roberto Duran after having been kneed in the groin at the end of the 13th round. Duran was a champion for seven years, but refused to give Buchanan a rematch. <laughs> 